between Juliana Pena and Chris Cyborg. Well, this is a belt that has changed hands quite a bit, and this number one Bantamweight contender believes it will again here tonight as she makes the walk for this title fight. She believes this title shot should have come earlier. She's not caught up in all that now, hasn't been during fight week. She's focused on the champion, and you see her staring her down right now. Crowd going crazy. She believes she is the best Bantamweight in the world and believes in a matter of moments here, she will be the new champion. So here she is, the undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion. How about the confidence as she makes the walk here tonight? She wants to get in there, take care of business, and go eat some buffalo wings in the back. She's been the best 135er in the world now for some time. Another title defense, what's in front of her? She doesn't try to make the moment too big. And even though the challenger has a lot of momentum here tonight, she knows she's the hunted for a reason and is looking to prove that she is still the best in the world at 135. All right, now let's get you the tail of the tape for this Women's Bantamweight Championship fight. So two years, the gap in age with similar height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Hard round for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of 22 wins, two losses, and one no contest. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Huntington Beach, California, USA. Introducing the challenger, Christian Cyborg Justino. And now, introducing the champion, fighting at the red corner. This woman is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 12 wins, four losses. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, here we go. UFC Women's Bantamweight title is on the line. That was a game. Nice, right. Just out of range with the big right hand. Gets hit with a kick. More clinching. Now she's got the Muay Thai club. And they separate. Try to establish that jab. Focus. Let's focus now. Oh. Well, she missed with that right hand. Ooh, big shot land. Back and forth we go. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Oh, she got that right hand. Oh, big left. 
Some real power shots here. Swing and a big miss by Pena. Oh, the right hand is there for him. Nice body kick right under the elbow. She blocked the punch. Big kick. All right, both women now continuing to try to get a more dominant position here in the clinch. I can hear Dominic Cruz just screaming underhooks. My ears are bleeding a little bit. Straight punch, and now her opponent's foot down the ring. But she can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Nice punch, land. Just out of range with that left hook. Another beautiful takedown land. Back to the stand up now. Both fighters upright. Another shot lands upstairs. How good a job does she do defensively to protect that man, raise the guard, a lot of good things in there. Yep, hands up, chin down. She's got a perfect position for defensive boxing. Just a slip there. Nice punch there by Cyborg. And she misses with the left punch there. Nice job by the veteran there. That counter with a jab to the head. Strong work on the feet by Cyborg. over the top. Well, there's no denying her power. She has been pretty accurate here tonight. But she's the type of fighter when she goes to the drive through window. She's just getting the sandwich. She's oh, not getting the combo. That's meat. embarrassing. <laughs> that's embarrassing. You're going to go and order a sandwich. That allows your opponent to stay in the fight. Give him the entire combo. Buy the french fry. Buy the drink. Really put it on her. Go get her. Extend that combination. Be confident. Go and try to find something that's going to end this fight. Got clip with the right hand. Well, masterful job by her defensively yet again. You're not winning all the time when you're playing defense, but a nice job to raise the hands there. She keeps her hands up, keeps her chin down. Her opponent does not get through with any of her head strikes. Well, she keeps going back to that right hand. This one's not there for her. Nice punch there by Pena. Big leg kick land. Well, that left hand has been there for her tonight, not on that attempt. Oh, how Maybe seeing stars at this point. Her opponent's seeing stars. Her opponent's hurt. She has to really get after her now and try to find that kill shot that's going to finish tonight. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Nice punch there by Cyborg. Oh, beautifully timed with the Superman punch. She missed with that jab. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Beautifully timed and place kick there by Pena. Oh, she blocks the punch. Cyborg gets the takedown. Now let's see what she can do with it. Oh, and with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. Great punch. That was a thud. She's thrown tonight. Her opponent's a beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. An uppercut in. 
Great vision, great defensive instincts by her there as she continues to block the majority of these shots coming her way. Her hands are always where they're supposed to be. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so there it is, the end of the round. Somehow she survives and advances after getting knocked down with a big move. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Can't take many of those, you better check. She's trying to establish that jab once again. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. with that punch by Cyborg. Seven, one, oh! She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed and it looks like she's gonna finish this fight. Can you believe she is able to keep up this output just as she did in the previous round? Land oh! You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Oh, that's an outstanding attempt with the kick there. Now we'll see if she can follow it up. So fast. Oh! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. again here, but hurting. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you'd want to see from her here. She's trying to keep the judges out of it. Really lighten her up now. Oh, nice connection by her there, and when you cut your opponent around the eye, you gotta go right back at it. And she is doing a... Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! Unbelievable! What a performance! Well, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. Absolutely flush on the land, and I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming, so sometimes it's the strike you don't see coming that spells your fate. And ultimately, it goes in the books as a big knockout win for her here tonight. So there she is, folks, a woman who now needs no introduction, the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, getting it done by knockout and with major style points here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eva Beans called a stop to this contest.